welcome you all for this lab session of flexural toughness characterization of fiber infused concrete. I am Sujata Jos, doctoral research scholar, uh, working in the area of uh, fiber infused concrete in building technology and construction management division in IIT Madras. So, um, first of all, the main disadvantage of using plain concrete is its brittle failure. So, the advantage of fiber infused concrete over plain concrete is its enhanced ductility post crack load carrying capacity etc. So, uh, this post crack load carrying capacity is captured by the post peak response which can be derived from this test of flexural toughness characterization. Objective of this test is to uh, measure the effectiveness of fibers and to obtain a post peak response. So, this is a specimen of fiber infused concrete. So, there are different types of fibers in the market like steel, polymer, which is used for many applications like uh, flooring, pavements, slabs on grade, tunnel linings, etc. So, these are some steel fibers and recently new materials are being introduced in the market and this is an amorphous metallic fiber. So, all these different types of fibers are used in for different applications. So now, so regarding the characterization of fiber infused concrete, there are uh, two typical tests, notched and unnotched beam test. So this is a specimen or uh, cast on fiber infused concrete. So this testing is based on an EN uh, 14651 and Rylum TC 162. So in this notch test, we are actually cutting a notch in the mid width of the test specimen. Why do we need to cut the notches? So we are forcing um, a, a weak plane in that area so that a crack happens in that area. So, this is the specimen and the notch is cut using um, saw cutter and wet sawing is done and again uh, curing is done for another 3 days to avoid any thermal cracks. So, now the typical uh, depth and width of a notch is 25 mm and 3 mm and the specimen dimensions are 150 by 150 by 700 and the span is 500 mm. So now, as I told you before, this is a closed loop testing system, uh, which is a displacement control test. Closed loop testing system works on a feedback control, feedback system, uh, unlike an open loop, which is only an input and an output. So uh, now this is a displacement control test uh, in order to get the post peak response. So here the displacement parameter is crack opening, which is uh, controlled with the clip gauge. So this is the clip gauge uh, through which we control the test. This clip gauge is fixed onto the specimen on a knife edge which is fixed on either side of the notch at the mid span. But along with uh, crack opening, we are even measuring deflection. So deflection is measured by two LVDTs uh, which is mounted on either side of the specimen using this uh, frame and this, this frame is fixed onto the specimen by means of a C shaped collar. So although we are measuring uh, deflection and crack opening. The control parameter, that is, as this is a displacement control test, the control parameter is uh, clip uh, CMOD, which is measured by the clip gauge. So now this test uh, is continued uh, until a crack opening of 4 mm. Uh, one more important thing to be noticed is that the notch is bit is cut at the mid width in in a, uh, in the direction which is perpendicular to the casting phase so this is the casting phase of the specimen and the notch is cut in a direction which is perpendicular to the uh, casting surface and the loading direction is also perpendicular to the um, casting phase so loading on top notch on the bottom and casting will be perpendicular to it so now uh, Let us move on to see how we are going to mount the specimen onto the uh, testing frame.
So this is the uh, setup in which we have mounted our uh, fiber reinforced concrete specimen onto the testing system. So this is a controls closed loop testing system. And uh, we have mounted here uh, three sensors are, as I have explained before. That is the clip gauge in which we control the test that is here. And uh, LVDTs which is fixed on either side of the specimen onto the rigid frame which is fixed to the specimen by means of a C-shaped collar. And the deflection of the specimen consider, we consider by taking an average of the LVDT readings of the, of the two uh, LVDTs on either side. But the control is done with the uh, clip gauge. CMOD which is mounted onto the knife edge at the mid width. These sensors are connected to the data acquisition system through which we acquire data through our advanced interface. Now let us move on to see how we do the testing. So initially we will start the test with load control till about around 40 percent of the peak load is reached and then we will shift on to the CMOD or crack mouth opening displacement control. Now let us move on to the test. Now the test is running, the peak load is achieved in uh, 2 to 3 minutes time and the uh, complete duration of the test that is uh, for a CMOD or a crack mouth opening of around 4 mm, it takes to around 45 minutes for steel fiber infused concrete. Now the test is completed. As you can see that although there is a crack which is developed, there was no brittle or a catastrophic failure. That is because of the presence of fiber infused concrete. Uh, but at the same time we have got the post peak response that is the performance of fibers after peak. So what is the load carrying capacity at different crack openings we can be able to derive from this test. So now our test is complete. We got two responses, the load crack opening response and load deflection response. So from these responses, we derive the flexural toughness parameters. Uh, from the load crack opening response, we calculate the residual flexural strength, which is the flexural strength at different crack openings of 0.5, 1.5, 2.5 and 3.5 mm. Whereas uh, from the load deflection response, we calculate the equivalent flexural strength, which is based on the average load at, defle at different deflection limits. So these parameters are used in the design of FRC elements. Now this is a typical load crack opening response of plain concrete and fiber infused concrete. As you can see in the case of plain concrete, there is a sudden drop after the peak which shows a brittle failure. Whereas in the case of fiber infused concrete, there is an enhanced post peak load carrying capacity which is due to the stress transfer by the fibers across the crack which was captured in our test that we have shown now. So, this testing of characterization of fiber infused concrete was done using the closed loop testing system uh, with displacement control and thank you for watching.